Hey everyone, I am in my one of my start rooms. This is particularly where we'll grow out our peppers this year. Um, there's going to be a lot changing here. It's a storage at the moment. The storage will start to go away and this stuff will start to get, you know, more pepper oriented. Let me show you something. So this isn't our house. This is a storage building. This before. So these are our GQF incubators and hatchers. This particular one is a hatcher. And we use this to germinate peppers. So I'll pull these out about twice a day because this doesn't have light. I have bought a new bigger one that does have light. Um, but we haven't got it all set up and ready yet. So I'll pull them out and look for any seedlings that are up. This one should start popping in just a couple of days. So this is Genghis Khan's Brain, Brian's Blood Rainbow, Chocolate Skunk, Red Skunk, Red Primatales. The one I just had out was Yalamaruga Scorpions. So those are non-isolated seeds. Uh, Yalamaruga Scorpions, Caramel Maruga, non-isolated Caramel Marugas. More back there we can't get to without taking it out, so I won't show you. Chocolate Primatales, Trinidad Mustard Scorpion. This is a cross we're working with. Um, we'll play it out this year and see how it works. And then White Maruga Scorpions are back there. Yellow Reapers, non-isolated. Naga Brains, Naga, uh, Bleeding Naga, non-isolated. A boot knot cross. Down here I got th two of them stacked up. I'll have a third one in here shortly. Maruga UV chocolate. Um, Hurtberry, Nogla Beast, Big Black Mama, Maruglas. I usually try to turn all these wrong other way. Bismarck's Pockmark Orange, Bootless Scorpion, Apocalypse Scorpion. That's a yellow variant we're working with. <coughs> it's got a humidity tray keep water in that it helps keep the humidity up now, obviously I've had the door open so the humidity is going to be off on this right now so set temperature is 85 degrees it's currently 78 where we had the door open and 60% humidity but you'll watch that humidity is going to go up fast and we're already up at 85 and climbing and that's because it does its job I can control temperature precisely here and I have found that 83 to 85 degrees works great for me and I don't know if you can see for the lights but we are running on heat mats I've got a heater in here for if the nights get cold we'll warm it up and I may do that tonight because it's not as hot in here as it normally is at the end of the day um, these guys got a little leggy before I got them out of there, but they'll be fine. Um, that is a Jay's Red Ghost Scorpion. And then we've got White Ghost Scorpions, Caramel Maruga Red, Brown Maruga Non. So these are a lot of our experiments. And then Red Trinidad Scorpions and so forth on down through our... So you can see a lot of those are starting to come up. And here is... Another tray that's starting to get a few of them up. Now these came out of those chambers and was moved over here once they started to germinate. And we use the heat mats to keep them to temperature. Seven pot Dogla, seven pot Trinidad Jonah, seven pot pink, seven pot peach, a seven pot yellow non-isolated. Um, here you can see we got a few coming up. This one probably has just moved over here today. And we got chocolate ghost, red ghosts. This is a, the Red Ghosts, this is one we're working with. So this is from 2020, 2021. And we got Red Ghost and so on and so forth. Got our Orange Cream Ghost. And here I have Seven Pot Primo Yellow, Seven Pot Bubble Gum. You can kind of see down through there. So those are starting to come up good. This one just came over um two two days ago or yesterday one and this one is starting to pop real good so you can see we're starting to come up quite well here 
except for that roll, roll of chocolate ghost down there. Now they're notorious for being late bloomers, but I'll stay on top of this and see what we got. Um, I gotta fix this. I took my lead out a while ago. So I need to get that back in the soil. I just moved trays. That's when I decided to shoot this video for you. So you can see, it's gonna tell us what the actual temperature is of that tray and that's a new tray going in so it won't be as warm as the other ones. So it'll get the temperature crank up a little bit and then it'll come back down. It's important to always come by and make sure these are in soil. Um, <laughs> like right here I pulled that one out to water the tree a little while ago and I did not put it back either guys somebody's going to do something about me but I want y'all to be able to see these see that they were doing well we're looking forward to a nice season Got some flowers down here. They're not on heat mats. And these are my greenhouse bell peppers. Um, had the same problem last year. Only had about an 80% germination. Probably had more like a 75 this year on those. So hopefully the next batch of them does better. But you can see the speckles on that speckled trout. Lettuce. We got some parsley started and some thyme. But it's all looking good. You can see we're starting to get some seedlings up here. Some of these are reapers. This is the one that just came up this morning or last night one. So all right guys, make sure you like and subscribe if you like seeing these garden updates. It's technically a garden update, but it's more a pepper update on this one because it's primarily what we got going on in here um, but we'll try to keep you informed as the year goes on so you can see everything that we got going on thank you guys take care